What's been around for thousands of years and continues to affect people today? Syphilis. I'm Dr. Mark Allendary from Access Health Louisiana. As a physician who specializes in infectious diseases and has been treating patients for years who are diagnosed with a variety of sexually transmitted infections, I'm here to talk to you about what may be considered the most well-known STI of them all, syphilis. It's a big word with a long history, and if you just received the diagnosis of syphilis, you may have jumped ahead and pictured in your mind the worst case scenarios associated with this sexually transmitted infection. But I'm here to tell you to listen up so you can discover how you can do something right now to make sure the worst case isn't your case. Most importantly, I want you to know that your partner or partners can be cured. Over the years, I've talked to hundreds of thousands of people about taking charge to stay healthy. And today, I'll tell you more about this bacterial infection and how it is curable with antibiotics. Like so many STIs, syphilis is caused by bacterium that many men and women will exhibit no symptoms of whatsoever or who may have symptoms that are hardly noticeable. Yet regardless of how it starts out, left untreated, it can be serious and even life-threatening. There are actually three stages of syphilis, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Each stage has its own set of symptoms and without treatment, syphilis will progress to the next stage. There's even a phase referred to as latent and late latent where symptoms completely subside, but that doesn't mean it's gone. It's still there and the infection can come to life years and even decades later bringing with it some serious complications. In some men, immediate symptoms may be a lesion on the penis that in time goes away. For women, the lesions caused by syphilis can be hidden on the labia, not easily seen or even sometimes felt. During the secondary stage of syphilis, these lesions can be painful, ulcerated sores that appear along with the rash that is mainly non-itchy and there's discoloration of the palms and soles of the feet and those are called copper penny lesions. Untreated, syphilis can enter the latent stage before the third stage develops, and this is where serious complications crop up. Up to 30% of people with syphilis at this stage will develop complications known as tertiary syphilis, where multiple organ damage can occur within the brain, the nervous system, the eyes, the liver, the bones, the heart, and even within your joints. Pregnant women with syphilis can pass it on to their unborn child through the placenta, causing a miscarriage or through contact with infected lesions during birth, potentially causing birth defects or stillbirths. This is called congenital syphilis. That's why syphilis is considered the most serious of all bacterial-based sexually transmitted infections. But understand this. With easy treatment, syphilis is 100% curable. That's right, it's 100% curable. If you have syphilis, it's likely that your partner or partners do too. Knowing this, your sexual partner or partners need to get tested at a clinic or by his or her physician immediately so that they can begin treatment too. Then it is a must to get rechecked in six months. As a disease that is sexually transmitted, it is reportable to the state, meaning that you may get a phone call from the state health department asking you some basic questions to keep accurate statistics for characterizing infectious diseases in the region. They will need some information to help track syphilis throughout the state. These people are called contact tracers. I know it may seem awkward talking about your experience, but it's important to have this information for the health of the population at large. In the next two sections, we will watch a reaction to a diagnosis and the communication of that diagnosis. So I've always heard about syphilis. And when I went to get an STI screening and I was told that I had it, I was shocked. And honestly, I was pretty freaked out. I noticed I had a red sore on my penis and I didn't think that much about it. And then it was gone. And since I didn't have any other symptoms, I wasn't that concerned. But during my routine health exam, the doctor did an STI screening as usual. 
He was quick to tell me that while I was positive for syphilis, not to worry, since it's curable during the early stages. So that was a relief. What kind of treatment do you need? Well, I got a shot of penicillin right then, and then another shot the next week, and then the next week, another shot. So really just three shots in three weeks, and that's it. So do you have to go every week? Yeah, and I actually can't miss a week or else I'll have to start the regimen all over again. And it's super important to use a condom when I'm in treatment since I'm still contagious. The doctor said since it's communicable that someone from the state health department would call me to get some information. It was a contact tracer who asked a few questions. The doctor said for the sake of public health and doing my part that answering honestly is super important. So I did. It was fine and not at all uncomfortable, just factual. The contact tracer was very professional and made it easy. What about your partner? What did you say to him? Well, I told him and he understood right away. And he realized how important it is to go get tested and treated. So he went. He understood that if he didn't handle it right now, it could be bad news later. And how important it is to be faithful to a schedule of treatments because neither of us want to start from square one again. And we're both being super diligent about wearing condoms because we don't want to prolong treatment any longer than we have to because you can get reinfected mid-treatment if we don't use protection. He remembered learning about syphilis and how it can get really bad if left untreated and cause vision loss and strokes and it can attack the brain. It's super scary if a woman gets it too and passes it on to her fetus. It can cause miscarriage or stillbirths or birth defects in the baby. I'm so glad he understood the importance of taking this seriously. What's next? Well, you have to get rechecked in six months and just be really diligent about using a condom. How did you tell him? Hey, Kaylin, I'm going to be straight up with you. I found out today that I have syphilis. Oh, uh, okay. That's wild, Bano. It's okay. It's 100% curable. It's going to be fine. I've actually started my treatment today. I got my first shot of penicillin, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about because if you don't get treated, it could lead to some really bad symptoms. And it's contagious, so it's likely that you have it too. Y yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm on board. I'll go tomorrow. How long do the treatments last? Well, I got my first shot today, and I'll get another shot next week, and then my third shot the week after that. I'll talk to the doctor in six months, and I'll talk to a contact tracer too about my symptoms and my experience so that they can keep track of diseases in the region. But it's weird, Kaylin, because I don't have any symptoms at all. I feel perfectly fine. The doctor says that this is common though. So it's a good thing that I get checked out regularly or else we wouldn't have known. Yeah, no kidding. I actually don't go to a doctor enough, so I'm grateful you went, man. And now we have to get this taken care of. But my mom told me I'm allergic to penicillin from a reaction that I had when I was a kid. So what will they do to help me? Well, I know that there's other treatments available besides penicillin. My doctor today said that people that think that they're allergic to penicillin actually aren't. But regardless, there's treatments available and we'll take care of it regardless. I'll, I'll be there to go with you to the clinic if you want. Okay, okay, sounds good, man. So hopefully they can treat me with no problem? Yeah, honestly, they can. So it'll be good for both of us. And before you know it, this will all be behind us. Some takeaways. It's important to get diagnosed, so I'm glad that you did. It has been called the great pretender because syphilis symptoms can look like many other diseases. As a bacterial infection, your syphilis diagnosis is curable with things as easy as penicillin, you may need one shot over the course of, of a week, or you may even get three shots over the course of a three week period of time. So don't miss one. No one wants to start at square one, which is what you have to do if you do miss one. So take care of yourself. Stay true to your treatments and remember, your condom is your best protection once you are cured to ensure you don't get reinfected. Next, it's an absolute must to be honest with your intimate partner or partners so they can get tested and start their treatment if they are also positive. Also, be truthful with the state contact tracers who want to help you and your partners to stay healthy. And remember, answer all the questions honestly. 
At Access Health Louisiana, we make it easy for you to get tested and to get treated. When you take charge and make the right choices, you can stay healthy.